Welcome back to V Top 10 in today's video we're counting down the 5 Steve Collins best knockouts. Number 5. Steve Collins vs Stanny Morgan. On December 11, 1991 at National Stadium, Dublin, Ireland, Steve Collins beat Danny Morgan by knockout at 150 in round 3 of 10. The American coming here with a very impressive performance. Hooking wise of the body with that left hook. To fight for that vacant title. He's got... Oh, this is with that connect with a good one. Counter with those good short punches. Bobbing and waving. There again, Collins. Collins looking comfortable. To the fast hands of Steve Collins. Steve Collins against a very awkward opponent in Danny Morgan. One, two, three, good left hooks to the chin. Morgan brave. Still coming forward. Hey, that if he cuts in with one good punch, he landed it because it is. Quite a puncher, but Collins with a ragged there. He's doggedly coming forward now, Morgan. Again, he slips, right? And he says, yes, box on. Struggle wires to the side on this, but now, that's it, it's all up. Number 4. Steve Collins versus Neville Brown. On March 9, 1996 at Green Glens Arena, Mill Street, Ireland. Defending WBO Super Middleweight title Steve Collins beat Neville Brown by TKO at 0.54 in round 11 of 12. Number 3. Steve Collins vs. Nigel Benn. On July 6, 1996 at 9X Arena, Manchester, England, defending WBO Super Middleweight title Steve Collins beat Nigel Benn by TKO at 2.44 in round 4 of 12. For the last two challenges, Cornelius Carr and Neville Brown were really just two that Eubank, in one of the fights, did have Collins on the floor and didn't really follow up. He found the weight of that one all right. Yes, well, that was definitely the best punch of the fight. Beautiful. This granite chinned Irishman is up here, punches of the division. But Collins, even with his punch resistance, good left hook there from Collins. Found the punch well, but then a... that's where Collins wants Ben. But watch, he'll not go out without a tremendous fight. Down goes Ben. Well, it would be awful if a freak injury like that was to be this big punches to the head. Oh, and then he's looking away. And it's over. He can't go on with the ankle. Number two. Steve Collins versus Chris Pyatt. 
On May 11, 1994 at Ponds Forge, Sheffield, England, Steve Collins beat defending WBO middleweight title Chris Bryant by TKO at 2.27 in round 5 of 12. I've been that interested in some previous fights you didn't see. So we were waiting for the big chance. Good to see a couple of tried and tested pros at work, Jim, isn't it? The quality opposition, it's only top quality that's beaten the Collins already. Oh, good shots from Collins, good way hand. The reach. Boxes out of the match room. Bart can stiff a lot of money here. Yeah, absolutely. He was down a couple of times in fight. Oh, two good shots from Collins. Far. Referee Paul Thomas from Derby had very little to do here, encouraged him early on. There it is again. A little bit unsteady, he's widened his stance now. Just needed to get his balance back, but that was a good right hand from Collins. I have not really recovered from that yet. I think that's the punch that's also started his move. Collins looking so much bigger and stronger right at this moment. Yeah, it's, it's time now to try to back. Punch, he doesn't want to punch out with this man. Collins right on top here. You've lost the round. Just survive it. Get some treatment back in the corner. Grab hold and start moving, Reg. Well done, Chris! Well done! It's all over. Number one. Steve Collins versus Craig Cummings. On July 5th, 1997 at Kelvin Hall, Glasgow, Scotland, defending WBO Super Middleweight title Steve Collins beat Craig Cummings by TKO at 117 in round 3 of 12. It was unbelievable, it looked as if Craig Cummings... That was Kevin Watts, that's in his whole career. And after 12 seconds, we're told. Oh, two good shots going in there. Cummings seems to have a bit of a mark underneath the right eye. And the right hand gets it in this first round. And down goes Collins again, this time at his lower level. And another right hand. Collins again trying to let go of the, the left right. There was a good right hand. And then there was a left to the body as well. This may not last long, but it could be explosive while it does, and Cummings is hurt. Being nervous and negative, Cummings, he's again leaves himself open to a right hand, because remember the way it was last night. Collins can't miss at the moment with that right hand. With smoke in his lungs. And Left right there, Cummings just stuck to the spot for a second. And down he... My, my, the bookmakers are generous, aren't they? Collins himself with these shots. Another left hand, then a right. American still conceivably be dangerous. Well, just try and get in the fight a little bit. Again, he lands with a good left hook. He's getting through to him here. The referee wants to step in, and he's called it off. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.